Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you all are fantastic. In this episode, we will discuss about how to set up the directories management zones. What are the importance of management zones? If you are visiting our channel for the first time, kindly subscribe and also please share with your friends. So without making any further delay, let us start. First, what is management zone? Management zone is like a boundary in the directories. Instead of showing all the data to everyone, you can create the focused view so that the respected team can view the respective data. For example, if you create a management zone 1, if it is e-commerce related, then they can see only the front end, API and payment related data. Likewise, if you create the management zone 2 and given the name as database team, they can see the only data related to DB such as DB servers, queries, storage. And if you create the management zone 3, for example cloud apps, they can see only AWS, Azure infra related information. Like that, you can scope the complete view to the respective teams. So let's start. To explain about the management zones, I will take an example of synthetic monitors. Based on that, I will give the complete idea. First, to create the synthetic monitors, you should go into the digital experience and then click on the synthetic option. To learn more about all the details of synthetic monitors, I have created a separate video on that. I am providing the link in the description. You can go to that video and see the complete information about synthetic. As here, we are mostly focused into the management zones. Just for demonstration, I will just create a synthetic monitors quickly without explaining much of the things. And then I will explain the zones related. I will come down and I will give the name as www.google.com and then I'll click on next, next, here I will choose few locations, next, create browser monitor. Now I have created one browser monitor that is Google. Like that I will create another one that is Yahoo and then I'll explain how the management zone play an important role. Let me go to that synthetic again, create a new synthetic monitor, create a browser monitor, this time I'll create www yahoo.com and then click on next next choose a location like Cape Town and another location then click on next create browser monitor okay so now what we have done we have created two browser monitor or two synthetic monitors here since I am the directory admin I am able to see all the data here if I go into the synthetic section, inside the synthetic, I have two browser monitor. You can see that browser 2, one is google.com and another one is yahoo.com. So take an example like google.com is belongs to google T, yahoo.com is belongs to yahoo T. So that google T not interested or not required to see the yahoo.com related data or yahoo team is not interested or not worried about the google data. So in such cases, we can create the management zones so that Google team can see only the data related to google.com and Yahoo team can see the data related to yahoo.com. So for that, so let me go into the manage section and inside that click on settings and then go into the preferences and here you will find an option called management zones. Let me click on the management zones. So the management zones are mainly created based on the rules. You need to provide the rules based on that it will create. Right now it is showing nothing because we have not created any management zones. To create the management zones, just click on add new management zone and provide the name here. As I said earlier, we have two applications. One is Google, another one is Yahoo. So now I will create a Google management zone or I will mention as Google team so that Google team can only see their data, right? Then, and provide the description here. For example, this management zone is for monitoring the Google zone or Google application. Likewise, you can create it like prod, BUAT, UAT. So depending on the business requirement, you can create the management zones and provide a description here. Then comes add new role. This is an important thing in the management zones. Based on the rules only, we are going to create the zones. So let me click on the management zone and you need to select the rule type here. 
there are three different things in the rule type that is monitored entity, dimensional data and entity selector. It's nothing but there are three methods to create the rules or to create the management zone. Now I will go ahead and take use of the monitored entity. The rest of the things I'll explain in another video. Now rule applies to to which the management is going to apply. If you click on the scroll down button, you will see whether this management zone or this management zone's rule is applying to services or host or custom devices, EXI host, many more things here. Now we are interested in the browser monitors because we have created the synthetic monitors and based on the synthetic monitors, we are going to create the management zones, right? So just I'm explaining one more time. There are multiple options. If you want to segregate the data or logical separation of the data based on the host, you can click on the host option and do that. Likewise, you can create the services, ESXi host, host group, depending on the requirement you can do. So for demonstration purpose, I have taken the browser monitor here. Okay. So here we have selected the main entity. That is, we are going to create the management zone based on the monitors. Then click on condition. So what all are the data should be part of this particular management zone. For example, thousands of synthetic monitors might be created in your environment, but all thousand synthetic monitors may not be uh, belongs to the same team, right? You are going to segregate. Uh, for example, 50 synthetic monitor belongs to app team, 50 belongs to the development team. Like that, there are multiple things would be there. To achieve that goal, we need to create add condition and provide the condition here. Based on the condition, it is going to add the data into the respective management zones. Here you can see right property browser monitor name. So we need to provide the monitor name here so that that particular information go and sit inside this management zone. Now what I will do browser monitor name equals to google.com. I have created google.com right so that I am going to give the google.com. If any browser monitor is there by the name google.com then it will capture that information. Let me make it as case insensitive and then click on display entities. If there are any entities that is going to display it here. Since the name matching here google.com it is showing here. So now what I will do? I will click on the save changes. So what happened now? I have created one management zone that is google team and inside that I have added only the only one synthetic monitors. So if you want to see that information just click on this scroll down button. So you're able to see that and again if you want to add the multiple rules here that is also possible just click on add new role and provide the information here let me create another management zone so that you will get a clear idea i'll give this time as yahoo team so total two management zones one is for google and another is for yahoo provide some description here as i said earlier management zones are completely depending on the rules just provide the rule here again i am using this time as a monitored entity and I'm applying this particular rule to the synthetic monitors names. Okay, browser monitor you can see right. Again, I'll provide the condition here. Like what all are the objects should be part of this one. I'll make it as browser monitor name equals to yahoo.com. And again, I'll change this one as case insensitive. Okay. Then come down, then click on display entities. Yes, I could see one monitor by the name yahoo.com. I'll click on save changes so what we have done we have created two management zones how it is useful i'll explain now one is google team another one is yahoo team okay so since we are the admins or we are part of the uh, dynatrace admin team here we are able to see the both synthetic monitors if i go back into the digital experience and then click on the synthetic option you are able to see two synthetic monitors whatever I have created now. Okay, you are able to see that. One is google.com and yahoo.com. If you want to analyze more about that, just click on that. You are able to see the data here. But that's not our agenda here at this moment. It, our agenda is to focus on the management zones. Okay, so since as I said, I am the admin, I'm able to see the complete information. Okay, so but if the Google team want to see the data, whatever it present by using the Dynatrace. Okay, so for that what we have done, we have created the management zones for them. Okay, you can see right, if I click on this option, you are able to see the management zones, complete management zones here. I have created Google team and Yahoo team. And right, right now I am in all, so that you are able to see the complete data. If I click on the Google team, you are able to see 
only the data associated with that management zone. You can see right, right now we are in the Google team management zone and we are able to see only one synthetic monitor. Actually there should be two, right? Why only one? Yes, that's what the importance of the management zone. In the Google team management zone, we have provided only the data associated with the Google team. That is what you are able to see it here. Likewise, if I go back to this option and click on Yahoo team, you are able to see only Yahoo.com data here. Only Yahoo.com data here. Why? We have added that particular information inside the Yahoo management zone. Likewise, based on the requirement, you can set up a multiple management zones and add the data associated to that. For example, if any SQL team comes and asks like, I want to see the data, whatever is there in the Dynatrix. You can create one particular management zone by the name like SQL and add all the SQL servers, SQL services, right? Everything into that by using the rules and then you can provide the access to that management zone. Okay. Based on that, they're able to see only SQL data so they can fix the issues. They can see the data, what exactly happening in the Dynatrix at this particular time. Okay. So this is how you can scope the view. This is how you can filter the data to their respective team. This is how you can assign the particular information to the particular team. Because not all the team want all the data, right? Why the SQL team want the Citrix data? Why the Citrix team want the web application data? Right? Why the web app team want, you know, uh, Azure data? They don't want, right? So likewise, you can create a separate management zones for the separate teams and provide the access to them so that they can only see their data. So this is how you can create the management zone. Hope you got the idea right. Completely it is depending on the rules how you are going to select it. Based on the other rules, you create the management zone and assign the permission to the respective teams. Right. Hope you got the complete idea now right. Let me click on management zone option. I will click on all again. So that I will come back to my own page where I am the where I am having the complete access. I am the admin for the Dynatrace. So I want to see everything. So I came back to all. I am able to see everything here likewise you can create for the host or you can create for the dashboard likewise you can create for the you know services whatever the requirement based on that you can create just to make it simple or to understand better way about the management zones i have taken this one as an example okay so in the next video i'll explain about the management zones with the different options right now we are using the monitored entity there are two other options where there i will talk about that in the next video thank you so much for watching till the end and bye for now